ഹായ് ഐ എം ഡോക്ടർ ഹിരണപ്പ ബി ഉദ്നൂർ പത്മനോളജിസ്റ്റ് പ്രാക്ടീസിംഗ് അറ്റ് സാകാർ നഗർ ബാംഗ്ലൂർ ഹെബാൾ അറ്റ് ഇൻസ്പയർ സ്പെഷ്യാലിറ്റി ക്ലിനിക് സൊ നോർമലി ട്യൂബർക്കുലോസിസ് ഇസ് അഫക്റ്റഡ് ബൈ അ ബാക്ടീരിയ ഇറ്റ്സ് എ ബാക്ടീരിയൽ ഡിസീസ് വിച്ച് ഗോസ് ഓൺ ഫോർ ലോങ്ങർ ഡ്യൂറേഷൻ കമ്പയർ ടു അതർ ബാക്ടീരിയസ് സൊ ട്യൂബർക്കുലോസിസ് വെൻ ഇറ്റ് അഫക്ട്സ് ഇൻ ദ ലങ് സൊ അവർ ബോഡി ഇമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് ഈസ് ഗുഡ് ഇനഫ് ടു ടേക്ക് എ control of the organisms and it will be well walled off because of the macrophages which are present in the body and body's defense mechanism and the source of infection is especially the lung hence they inhale the particles in the air and they go into the lungs and usually they settle in the upper part of the lungs where oxygen is very good there and it can disseminate in the body and stay in a small small focus in the brain they are called by different names like rich focus corn focus and many different names it will be well contained because of your own immunity and it can stay as infection it is called as only the infection it's not the disease and uh, patients will not manifest with uh, a disease manifestations so in layman terms so tuberculosis infection which is uh, been contained by the body's immunity is called as uh, latent tuberculosis and they are at risk of tuberculosis in future provided there are some other factors like genetic malnourishment or any other things which will lower their immunity how do you diagnose latent tb latent tb is usually diagnosed by uh, by montus test which where they will give a small prick test in the hand after 48 to 72 hours they will see if the it is raised more than 10 mm especially in a immunocompetent person 5 mm in somebody is having a immunocompromised state they say it is positive if it comes positive it doesn't say whether he has active tb or whether it is only a latent tb so if you are ruled out by symptoms and uh, by sputum wise and other things if they don't have active symptoms uh, possibly it is a latent tb only since there are subjective objective errors uh, people who are traveling abroad or those people they have a better diagnostic testing like the in vivo montu is comma uh, interferon for tb and le spot test where your blood antigens will be taken and are exposed to lymphocytes in the lab and if at all it uh, there is aggregations and this thing they are interpreted as a tb gold test as positive early spot so this is very very important for countries who are traveling into so like australia new zealand where there is tb is less endemic so they screen for it and uh, normally they have a uh, guidelines for it so they are at risk of tuberculosis so that's used as a screening tool so you normally called it as latent tuberculosis uh, does it require treatment it's not active tb for sure and uh, it requires treatment provided uh, there are some risk factors in an individual if somebody who is having sickness which is chronic renal failure immunosuppressed host diabetes elderly and the pediatric age groups engaged group who are at high risk of uh, tuberculosis development of tuberculosis in future they can be treated with uh, prophylaxis with inh or sometimes with inh and rifampicin for 9 months or 3 months like that but uh, my personal preference in indian patients because we are highly endemic country and there is a primary resistance for inh is very high here. i normally treat for a patients who are uh, baby of a sputum positive mother or somebody who is a immunosuppressed host and high risk those patients are the one we give a treatment for chemo prophylaxis others we just keep under surveillance if they can develop active tb we treat with with the treatment for active tb that's about uh, latent tuberculosis bacterial infections so latent tb it's not a disease to say whether it can be cured it's a latent infection so cure doesn't arise here but the reactivation part or the development of a disease we can give a prophylaxis in a low endemic country as i said uh, this thing regarding the it can become active tuberculosis you have to keep these patients under surveillance